Hi everyone, so I am going to zoom in quite a bit just because I have very little working space quite literally this much because I'm working on something um, on an album so I'm, I'm doing memory keeping project right now and I just cannot um, there's a lot of things going on so I cannot have any more space on my desk and today I want to illustrate some flowers let me know in the comment box it would really help me um, what kind of watercolor illustrations do you prefer? Do you prefer florals or do you prefer my girl um, faces or fashion illustrations? So um, depending on that, I then can sort of know what what is more in demand and try to create that for you. So I'm going to use my two watercolor palettes. These are um, the colors that I have selected myself. And there are two links um, to the videos where I put them together and I talk about every single color and you also see in the description of those videos uh, the names so the brands and the names of the colors every single one so this is the um, face palette I think I called it and then this is the candy box which is a little bit more bright and just to show you swatches so if you're interested exactly what color I'm using you can look at them and try and figure out because um, I just want to concentrate on the um, on the actual um, process of it rather than you know telling you exactly what colors I'm using so Today I want to illustrate flowers and I'm going to start by drawing out, hopefully this pen will work, let's see, yes it's working, drawing out flowers and um, I'm using, I'm using a platinum carboning fountain pen, which is basically, um, it's a, uh, they, they do an ink as well, which is waterproof, completely 100%. Some brands claim that they are um, waterproof and they are actually not. So this one is great because it only takes literally like minutes for the ink to become waterproof, completely waterproof. So I'm just drawing simple lines here and that will be a rose. So I just want, want to show you that you can create whimsical floral illustrations which are fairly easy to make and you can do them quite quickly so it depends what kind of um, design you're going for I'm just going to do quite simplistic lines so as you could see I started with the center and then kind of drew these lines in and that that represents the overlapping uh, but um, the, you know the the petals opening up like that so let me do another one and this time I'm going to do like a small one which is still not not fully opened so something like that with a larger one and the larger one is going to have the same principle so I'm always starting with an oval of some sort of misshaped shape and then from there I'm just adding these lines now the bottom petals I want to look like they are going underneath the small petal or the small rose so that they overlap a little bit I think that always makes it look a little bit more interesting so in this case I want to ground these two roses and give them leaves like that so I'll stick a small one here so this one is going to have three leaves same thing I'm going to draw a line in the middle like that and then this is this part is optional as you could see I just drew these little lines with dots at the end and this is where the the pollen would sit sometimes you see it in a row sometimes you don't but I feel like it it creates a nice little rose um, look so 
this has taken me literally minutes to do now what you could do with these roses you could take them and you could uh, fussy cut them if you're doing watercolor paper and you could create little embellishments or you could do things like um, you could continue the illustration and you could make a little hat piece on a girl's face you could do different things but today I just want to show you these roses and just the fact that you can create something really quick. So I'm going to use my Below It Quill Brush by Jackson's. This is the 10-0. I, um, I have mentioned this so many times. And then I know a lot of you have bought it because this is one of the most bought items on Amazon from the Amazon links that I provide and also Jackson's Art. So I'm going to spray my watercolor palette ever since I've started... Um, using this distress sprayer bottle by Tim Holtz it just is has made my life so much easier I'm spraying all of the colors even though I'm not going to use them that doesn't really matter so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my um, water and I always recommend to have a tissue next to you so we're going to take the tissue, we're going to wet the brush and start colouring. Now, you can go for a colour scheme that you enjoy. Um, I quite like the idea of having a bit of yellow in the middle and uh, a little bit of pink around it. So yellow would be the centre of the flower. And yellow can be quite strong at times, so just wash off your brush, dry it off and kind of lift the color almost. Because the ink is waterproof it's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to migrate. And then I'm going to take my pink and just do a typical watercolor look which is just leaving some white areas. And those would be highlights. So the next thing I would do is take a slightly stronger pink color, like a quinacridone one, and just add it in the other areas, on the other petals. So this is literally it. This is the simplest little watercolor illustration you can think of. For the green, I would personally... Um, go for something kind of earthy and I mean try avoid touching things like sub green or something because it will be a little bit too much it, it will create mud and it just won't be it won't be good now the thing that I struggle with most when it comes to leaves is overdoing it I find that overdoing petals is is a very easy mistake to make so I'm going to um, try and rectify it also you'll see that the amount of green you need is actually quite watered out because otherwise it just becomes um, too strong so this one I can try and lift and this leaf I'll need to work on because it's not ready. So here I'm going to add just a little touch of yellow into there, like a yellow green. And I'm also going to add it in some other areas. Here I'm going to do a little glaze and leave it at that so it's not overworked. And that is it. This is very, very quick and easy and fun, um, whimsical rose illustration. So I hope you enjoyed them and thanks for watching. See you soon.